Hello everybody, Cuckoo on Fire here, welcome back to more Earthbound. Let's get started. Um, in the last part we got kind of close to um, some city place called Saturn Valley. I really don't want to fight- oh my god, no, I don't want to fight you guys. Um, I don't really want to fight anybody right now, just, you know, we can probably one-hit kill these guys actually. Let's see. Nope, not enough. Oh well, we're just gonna go ahead and fight it. Because it won't take that long. Oh man, never mind. Okay, you know what, never mind, I'm just gonna keep that fight in. It's only like 10 seconds long. It's not gonna make a huge impact. Alright, a sugar packet. Sounds pretty swanky. Anyway, I'm sorry if you notice a difference in the uh, commentary, like just the way it sounds, because, um... Well, actually recently, if you've noticed, there's been lots of white noise in it, just because my, uh... My microphone's been acting up, which... You know, isn't that good, but I don't, uh, have the money to go buy a new one, and it still works pretty well. Anyway, um, the reason why I bring this up is because the program I use to record my commentary actually, um, uh, has a feature called white noise removal, and white noise is basically that buzzy noise you hear, which you're not hearing right now because I got rid of it using Audacity. But anyway, um, it just sounds really annoying, and Audacity can get rid of it, like you can take away all the buzzing noises, but um, it kind of makes the audio sound a little bit different. It's not really that big of a deal, like it doesn't sound that different, in my opinion at least, but you know, I'm just bringing that up. I'm sure you guys would rather have the, my voice a little bit different than have buzzing noises in the background. Anyway though, enough about that, um, we are now at Saturn Valley, alright. Uh, this is probably my favorite town of the game, just because it's so cool. Hi ho, me Mr. Saturn. This place are all Mr. Saturn. These are probably my favorite characters in the game, the Mr. Saturns. It's because they're, I don't know, they're so unique, like they're so charming. And something cool about this town is, um, if you need to go, like, um, heal up or, you know, stay somewhere. Like, okay, check this out. Uh, you can, this is basically a hotel, except it's free. So, you know, instead of having to pay like 200 like we did at the other town, we can come here and do it for free. I'm going to go ahead and call, call the Escargo Express because I have some stuff that I don't need anymore. <clears throat> anyway though, um, here is the hotel, and over there is the doctor, I believe, so if someone's dead, he can go back there and get it for free. Okay, what do we have in here? A protractor, we don't need that. That's completely useless. Let's see what it says, Protractor. We can even use this during battle. Can't be used many times. Yeah, it's pretty much useless. I think it just says now nest can like measure angles or something. Sudden so guess pill, okay. Is it broken spray can? Alright. Which once again Jeff can fix if you give it to him, but he currently doesn't have a lot of space on him. Anyway, I was waiting for the Escaro Express guy to come up. Um, did it cancel it? Let me go try again. Maybe I accidentally canceled it and I didn't notice. Okay, I guess not. Um, maybe it's just taking unusually long this time. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and enter this cave. We look like Sam, I give you a special thing. Not now, Zoom, I give you on the way back. Doing by later. Base, secret. Base behind great for false password, I tell. Belch, man, say, say password. Then stand still, wait for three minutes. You actually have to talk to this guy. Um, if you don't, then you can't progress through the game. Well, this is extra request. Yeah, I just he couldn't find your location. You must be somewhere really strange. I should be Oh man, I knew something like that happened. Okay, well, no, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to, um, call the Escargo Express again. Okay, I'm back. And anyway, let's go ahead and head up this ladder just because we can. Okay, I believe this is the item shop. Alright, alright. Yes, I'm right. But I'm actually not gonna buy anything here because we're doing pretty good so far. Um, well, actually, I guess, you know, it's always fun, you know, welcome up, great. Actually, hang on, I'm gonna wait for the Escort Express again, because I don't want to have to miss them again. Come on. 
zombie, blah blah blah. Come on. Seriously, is the escort race person like here? What the heck? Okay, here we go. Okay, good, I have enough money. Um, we're going to give him the backstage pass. I think Jeff has a few items. We're going to give him the bad key machine, because I don't think we'll ever use that again. And we're also going to give him the pack of bubble gum. And we actually can't um, get rid of the bad bubble gum unless we give it to the Escargo Express. Okay, so now when, since that's done, um, let's see, good. I'm going to give Jeff the silver bracelet, because he could use the defense way more than anybody else can. Oh wow, that's kind of a bit. Well, kind of, a little bit. Just a wee bit. Anyway, let's go ahead and just get some money. Draw. Uh, we're gonna take out 3,000. Oh, hi, you can buy and you can sell too. I'm Mr. Titan Blank, can do all for you. Uh, nope, wrong place. Actually, um, you might want to invest in some Horns of Life which you can buy from that shop, because those will bring people back to life, which is actually pretty good. The Bionic Scene Shop, we don't want. Great Charm, Silver Bracelet, Red Ribbon. Do you want to carry this bird? Yes. You know, I'm going to do this all off screen. Alright guys, I'm back, and um, instead of buying a uh, Horn of Life, which actually probably would have been the better investment, I wasn't really thinking at the time, uh, but two secret herbs which basically do the same thing, they can um, revive your fallen allies, and then they can also, um, um, what you want to call it, uh, they also, you can use them multiple times, so I think it's, I don't remember how many times, I, or at least I believe you can use them multiple times. I just went ahead and bought the secret herb just cuz. And now I guess we should go and head over to the Grapefruit Falls or whatever it's called. Um, alright, let's go ahead and head there. Not sure how low I am on time right now. Because I forgot to start my timer. Okay, this is a new enemy. Um, Violent Roach. Uh, we fought another cockroach enemy before, basically the same thing. Just upgraded, you know, once again. The game tends to do that a lot. Alright, offense. Going for the offensive. <sighs> Let's negotiate these tunnels once more. Don't want to fight these guys. I'm gonna be really underleveled by the end of this LP. Because I don't really want to do like off screen leveling, besides when I get um, a new uh, like partner or whatever you want to call them, like a new character. Just because, you know. You guys probably don't want to watch me sit- Oh no, we don't want to fight those guys. Mm, there's one enemy that- Oh crap, it's back. <laughs> there's one enemy you don't want to fight, it is these crocodiles. They can do massive amounts of damage. You know, attack the enemy weak point for massive damage. Oh, not fine, we'll fight you. Enter the little frame. Wait, come on, we can do this. We can make it there before time runs out. Okay. I don't actually need you, but whatever. So yeah, definitely don't fight one of those crocodile guys. I'm not even going to because I would rather live. And alright, here we are. Um, dang it. Come on, we're running out of time. Shut up. Grab take the freaking picture. Memories suck. What if I die? Then all these pictures will be as sad memories. Anyway, let's go ahead and stand here. Say the password. Which basically means we have to sit here for three minutes and we can't press anything. So um, I'm going to do that off screen, and we're out of time anywhere for this part, so I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.